Hi, I'm Caitlin, and welcome to video 10 of the Quick Start series for the Analog Discovery 2. In this video, we'll cover the Data Logger tool. A data logger is similar to an oscilloscope, except that it is designed to collect data for a longer period of time. For example, a day rather than a few microseconds. The data logger on the Analog Discovery 2 has a rather simple interface, but it's a very powerful data collection tool. You can access the data logger through the orange and blue wires on the Flywire assembly, corresponding to channel 1 and channel 2. To open the data logger, click on the logger button in the waveform's navigation bar. In the data logger window, you'll have the usual menu bar options with file, control, and window. Under file, you can open an existing configuration, save the current configuration as a project, export the data, or close the data logger. You can export the data as an image, CSV, text, or TDMS file. Under control, you have access to run and stop to run or stop the data logger. Under window, you can click on any of the currently open Waveforms 2015 windows and tools. You can also open the help window. Below the menu bar, you'll find all of the data logger controls. All of the channels are loaded onto the table to the left by default, but you can add more instances of the same channel by clicking the plus button. You can also remove channels with a negative button. The button with a piece of paper allows you to edit a channel. With the channel highlighted, click on the paper button and it will give you two option tabs, item and function. You can change the channel to observe a different data parameter by clicking the item tab. Clicking the function tab allows you to create a math channel using basic math functions and the predefined channels. Going back to the main window, the show button lets you add a minimum and maximum parameters to the table. Run will allow you to run the data logger and will turn into the stop button once clicked. The last two editable dropdowns are history and update. They in conjunction determine the sample rate between one sample every 100 milliseconds for a total of one seconds to one sample every one minute for a total of about 60 days. You can also adjust the time and sample rate by clicking the gear. Then you can update the total number of samples, which will adjust the history box. Between history and update, there is an icon with an arrow. Clicking on this icon will allow you to export data. The broom icon permanently clears all of the plot data from the window. Lastly, the RMS data displays the RMS frequency and auto adjusts to the value set in the update box. Below this, you'll have two more sections in the window the plot, and the table. The plot will display the data in real time, according to the scale on the x-axis. The plot width and color can be edited, and labels can be added by clicking the gear on the top right corner. You can turn on and off the specific channels on the plot by unchecking or checking the box labeled plot corresponding to that channel value. You can display the DC value, true RMS value, and AC RMS value of each channel. To the right of the checkboxes are color and another gear. By clicking on color, you can change the color of the displayed channel. Through the gear, you can change the offset and range for that specific channel value or use the automatic values. It is important to note that since the data logger uses the same inputs as the oscilloscope, use of the data logger will lock out the oscilloscope. The next video covers the logic analyzer. Thanks for watching.